Here, the FDA is overhauling its food program to help keep you safe following last year's nationwide baby formula shortage. The FDA commissioner says the agency will become more efficient. Stephanie Haynes joins us live with how they plan to prevent future shortages uh, from trying to try prevent this from happening. Stephanie, good morning. Hey, Dre, good morning. Well, the baby formula shortage is still going on, and some reports say it could last uh, more into this year in 2023. And we were lucky to find some on the shelves here in the DFW area because there is an ice storm going on. Uh, but the FDA has been under a lot of pressure to make changes since the baby formula shortage. Some members of Congress uh, have criticized the agency for being too slow to investigate the problems that one of a major manufacturing company, Abbott, which had to shut down one of its facilities last year after workers found bacteria. And then millions of parents and caregivers could not find safe formula to feed their babies, and it's still a challenge for some. A top deputy at the FDA resigned last week, and in his letter, he says he delayed his resignation to help deal with the formula shortage and complained about a, quote, decentralized structure of the foods program. Both an internal and outside review of the FDA found issues with its leadership and resources, and it recommended the agency put one person in charge of food safety. I spoke to a former FDA associate commissioner. He says it's a good first step, but more work needs to be done. Streamlining reporting structures is, is important. It's overdue and it will help. But it's only one step towards the final solution, which is making sure the FDA can find out about problems sooner and communicate them more swiftly so they can solve the problems more immediately. And the FDA absolutely needs to have uh, as high level staffing, as good funding as the industries that it regulates right now. That is nowhere near the case. He also says Congress should give the FDA a little more authority or just expand uh, and clarify some of its authority when it comes to investigating food companies, particularly when it comes to supply chain constraints. For instance, with the baby formula shortage, you know, how is it that a few companies are producing most of the baby formula for the whole country? Dre. Yeah, Stephanie, it was a mess when it happened, and hopefully they'll now get all of this figured out to prevent it from happening again. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.